to share a dramatic moment, and I think tonight's game could rival the famous Lindsey Scott call. Munson nearly lost his voice in this double overtime thriller. Triple, rather. Georgia couldn't throw it in the ocean in the first half. They were missing from everywhere. Now, on the other hand, Kenny Anderson, he had the hot hand. Watch him here. From way out to end the first half, he buries it. 41-34, Jackets at intermission. Now, it looked like the Jackets might pull away toward the end. Kenny Anderson coming up here with the drive. That made it 76-72. They led 79-73, but the Darks came back and then had a chance to wrap it up from the line. Jody Patton shooting two free throws, and the Darks had a one-point lead, but he missed both of them. Matt Geiger had a chance to win it for the Jackets, but he misses. Goes to OT. First OT, Marshall Wilson inside from Rod Cole. Dogs lead by three with only seconds left. But Brian Demolik hits the three, and we go to the second overtime. Now, we showed you Kenny Anderson hit the shot to send it to the third overtime. Anderson to Geiger here in the third overtime. Now, leading 104 to 100, Anderson, who played 55 minutes, he made the steal, feeds Geiger, 106-100, 43 seconds left. That proved to be the winner, 112-105. Uh, I just hope this city and this state uh, enjoy that game because that's one of the greatest basketball games I've been involved with. Um, I thought we had it won, then I thought we had a loss. It, it was an incredible basketball game. Brian DeMollett coming off the bench and James Mullen, that's just a great feeling, you know. They, they, had, they wasn't playing all season. Four years they've been here, they really haven't been getting that much playing time. And he just came right in the game and stepped up and made a great three. Mullen grabbed a great rebound, and um, we just need that type of... Um, type of attitude, you know, going through through the season. And I think this game will be like a turnaround. Georgia and Georgia Tech go into three overtimes. That's 55 minutes of basketball before Tech upset the dogs 112 to 105. Take a look at the highlights from the Omni. And in the first half, Georgia Tech was building up a pretty good lead. That's Anderson into Matt Geiger. He makes it go. Geiger, 21 points and 14 rebounds. Now, end of the first overtime, Brian Demolik hits the three-pointer to send it into the second OT. Kenny Anderson hits the two-pointer to send it into the third overtime period. And there, Jackets ran away. Anderson on the break into Geiger. Georgia Tech has upset the University of Georgia about 40 minutes ago at the Omni, 112 to 105. I, I mean, it's coming into this game. I wasn't sure if we could compete with Georgia. I was, I was really concerned about the way we played. Come here. The way we played and uh, the way Georgia was destroying people. And I just didn't know if we could, if we could hung in there. And I was really proud. Tell me what you've been telling these guys. I, I'm just so happy to have finally help Georgia Tech other than practice. I don't know what to say. I'm just very happy. The Malik hit a big three-pointer when nobody in the gym thought he'd be taking 16,000 on hand to witness it. Tomorrow around Atlanta office coolers, there'll be at least 30,000 who'll claim that they were there. This was a great basketball game. Triple overtime it went. This would have been a bargain at twice the price at the gate. Trust me. Here's how it went. Check this. End of the first half, Kenny Anderson, who played every minute of triple overtime and regulation, a buzzer beater. He had 40 tonight. The Jackets were up by seven at the half. Then the dog got a lead in the second half. With Terrell Green, he had 31. Tex Matt Geiger ties it with seven-tenths of a second left, but misses the game winner. It goes to overtime, tied at 82. In the first overtime, the dogs, Antonio Harvey, trying for the win for Georgia. It will not go off the glass. So we go to second overtime, tied at 90 all. And then down by two in the second overtime, watch Kenny Anderson get the basketball. He's going to drive through the Bulldogs all the way down to the baseline and up over the dogs' defense with a left-handed jumper. It goes and it is tied now at 98 to go into a third triple overtime. And in the third overtime, Tech up by four, and Kenny Anderson with the steal on the dogs inbounds gets it to Geiger. Geiger lays it up and in and put him up by six. They won it by seven.